If you want to see a top-notch integration by one of our top elite partners, Bentless Systems of the Azure Digital Twins, new features in their solution iTwin, it's today on the IoT Show. Don't miss that one. Hi everyone, you're watching the IoT Show and I'm Olivier, your host today with Lou Han from Bentless Systems. We'll talk about digital twins. Lou, thanks for joining the show today. Thanks for having me. Of course, we'd love to have our partners. So before we jump into the topic of digital twins and what Bentless System does in that area, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. My name is Lou Han. I'm a director of product management in our iTwin services organization. Bentley System is a leading global provider of software and services company to infrastructure professionals who design, build, and operate the world's infrastructure. Awesome. So let's let's actually look into it because you guys have very interesting solutions leveraging the Azure platform, and you developed a very strong, uh, you know, skill set and ex experience in the domain of. Uh, of infrastructure and asset management. So let's let's look closer into what products Bentless Systems has developed. Yes. So before we look into that, let's talk about infrastructure digital twin. So for infrastructure solution developers, this is truly the most one of the most exciting times because of the advancement in digital twin technologies and cloud technologies. An infrastructure digital twin is a digital representation of a physical asset, as well as the information that allows us to understand and model its performance. So typically, a digital twin can continuously update itself from multiple sources, including sensors, and continuous surveys to represent its near real-time status, working conditions, and position. A digital twin service enables the users to visualize the asset, check status, and performance, perform analysis, and gain insights in order to predict the future performance. So Bentley Systems has developed a set of services based on Azure Cloud. These services we call iTwin services. They provide the professionals with workflows ranging from design review, design validation, design insights. Also, for lifecycle specific, uh, domain specific services, we have immersive asset service for owner operator and plan site for process plant professionals, synchro for construction professionals. Uh, let, let me ask you real quick, what, what sure. are the domains uh, that your customers are actually in today? Like, is it industrial automation? Is it oil and gas? What are the, the, the specifics or, or some of the scenarios that we can expect iTwin to be, uh, to be used in? Yeah, iTwin is used in all spectrum of the infrastructure uh, projects or assets, ranging from process plant, civil engineering, roads and services, and... Um, communications, digital digital cities. Hey, Lou, that, that's pretty impressive and, and pretty broad range of uh, industries uh, where iTwin is used. Um, can you show me a little example of what it looks like from the customer's perspective? Sure. The next video demonstrates one of the services I talked about called the iTwin Design Review Service used in an engineering project in Australia called the Coffs Harbour Road and Rail Project. So here we see a list of saved views. Can make us easy to gain access to a particular setting. So here we open this view. So now you can see the engineering design oh, of the roadway system that has the bridges, the road surface, and then you can zoom in as detail as guardrail level. Wow. 
you can check. So you're mix and matching data from you know the mapping, the infrastructure, different sources. Precisely, as you can see, uh, Olivia, uh, on, on the back. So here is just showing you uh, the breakdown structure. You can uh, browse the engineering breakdown structure, but at at the back you can see there is uh, Bing Map turned down. Okay, Bing Map turned down. We'll show you how to uh, adding additional data source into this context. This is what we call engineering digital twin. That's pretty. So if you zoom out, if you zoom out a little, you will see that's the Bing Map displayed because the mm -hmm. model is geolocated, and then we can also turn on the so-called reality model. So these models are captured from area photography, and then turn into 3D mesh. So the purpose is you can see the existing condition compared to your design condition. Mm. So you can actually scope your work, and yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and another feature, uh, Olivia, is the issue management capability. Engineers use issue management to collaborate among each other. They mm -hmm. can send the design intent. They can describe conflicts, create markups, and send text messages to one another. So this is a markup to tell the other party something need to be addressed. So basically, they're enriching the twin live in the application here. Cor correct. Another key attribute uh, of our digital twin story is change. So here we are showing for a engineering con component, we are showing the change between two different milestones defined as 05 and 09. We capture the change and show you the change on the engineering attributes level and graphically. So you can see that foundation slab changed parameter from 150 to 300 millimeter. Okay. And lastly, we'll demonstrate the integration with other systems. So safety base is a SharePoint based system for identify, identification, management, and communication of health and hazard records for construction projects. So here we open a safety base record describing the type of risk. And then we can associate them to the engineering co components. So here we are associating one of the records to a road surface. So just adding the safety angle into the digital twin. Wow. Yeah, with, with the third party source of information, basically. Yes. Yeah, so that's a uh, short demonstration. Uh, about oh, that's, pretty, that's pretty yeah, rich, so. actually. I'm very impressed. Uh, you, you mentioned the fact that um, you are leveraging and integrating with the Azure, the Microsoft Azure platforms. Let's jump into the topic. How do you integrate with the Azure platform? Sure. So Bentley's goal with using Azure Digital Twin is to create a comprehensive digital model, including operation data coming from IoT sensors, as well as engineering data that is brought to life by iTwin services. Azure Digital Twin helps break down silos that previously stood in the way of insights and provides a robust platform to build dynamic workflows on. So this new generation of digital twins combines and brings engineering technology and operational technology into a single digital twin environment. So in this integration, Bentley iTwins brings civil engineering models, reality models, and also provided iModel.js API, iTwin Viewer, and iModel Hub for managing digital content in the cloud. Microsoft Azure Digital Twins brings Azure Digital Twins platform Azure IoT Hub, Azure Time Series Insight, and Bing Map. Together, Coffs Harbor Civil IoT solution is built. It provides feedback to operational professionals, live connection to Azure Digital Twin, civil engineering sensors display, and the content browsing. 
I see. Pretty, pretty complete. And that's interesting that we see, uh, you know, uh, where each of the players here can play their best role. Microsoft provides a platform. And in here, Bentley Systems integrates that platform to deliver a complete solution. Uh, I think it's a perfect match. I love that. Interestingly as well, we just announced a refresh of the Azure Digital Twins features. And uh, and and you'll see you'll see more, you know, on other IoT show episodes about Digital Twins new capabilities. One of them, which is actually coming to mind immediately, is the fact that now you can actually feed data into Azure Digital Twins from different sources. You can yeah. add, import your own IoT hub, but also inject data from other sources. And I think and I feel that you guys have been leveraging that new feature into your solution and integration with Digital Twins. That's correct. So this next slide shows exactly that. As iTwin and Azure Digital Twin integration goes by the flow of authoring, aligning, synchronization, federation, and visualization. During the authoring through the synchronization stage, engineering information, as described in ABC, are synchronized, aggregated into iModel Hub. That's our, that's our cloud service on top of Azure Cloud for managing digital content. At the same time, live sensor data is synchronized to Azure IoT Hub. And now in the federation stage, as you were saying, Olivia, DTDL is used to bring engineering information from iModel Hub into Azure to create Azure Digital Twin models. At the same time, live data from Azure IoT Hub is connected to the Azure Digital Twin model. Time series data, time series insights are generated. And then in the visualization stage, iTwin Viewer provided a a single place, single view for all this information from the top live data from Azure Digital Twin and time series insights. And then horizontally is the engineering data from iModel Hub and the reality and map data from other services. So this provided a, a true live digital twin for the operational engineers. Oh, that's that's pretty uh, pretty complete. I like the like what I'm saying. Once again, really emphasizes the fact that you know um, partners like Bentless Systems can leverage the platforms we deliver uh, and to create complete solutions. So I'm a developer at heart, and I want to actually ask you a bit more. You mentioned something called iModel JS. Um, so I want to ask you, what's the developer story for working with iTwin in general as a solution? Uh, how can your customers even extend further uh, the, the services and the solution? Yes. At the core of iTwin services is the iModelJS open source library. We use it to create services that I presented earlier and used in creating the iTwin and Azure Digital Twin integration. So before I give you the details on iModelJS libraries, here I show a video of the iTwin and, I'm, and the Azure Digital Twin integration. Okay. So this is that um, iModel in iModel JS enabled application you were referring to. So in here we can change the transparency of the underlying map. Okay. And then on the left side you will see the asset types as described by bridges tunnels, and roads. So if we expand the bridges and select one of them, this will zoom me into that particular bridge. Then here you will see a sensor, vibration sensor, that is linked to Azure Digital Twin. And tunnels right. has multiple sensors, air quality, temperature, cameras. And nice. for roads, we have traffic counter and the cameras to, to capture the live condition, traffic condition. So now 
the highlight of the demo is we turn on the live connection. Now it's live connected to Azure Digital Twin. And we use different sens sensors to compute the overall health indicator index for a particular engineering uh, component. In this case, the bridge is changing its color based on the overall health index. So here is for this sensor, it reported the COnO2 Right. And we just saw the, we just saw the data changing live. So all the data is, is exactly. live yes. from the sensors through yes. digital twin through the application. Exactly. We also simulated a search of the search of the data so that the overall health is changing and then we're changing the color of the, the asset. So to provide feedback to the uh, to the engineers. Now here we can also retrieve time series data from either digital twin and to provide okay. the historical computed health for this particular tunnel. And here I recognize one of the time series insights um, JS uh, libraries, actually. C correct. Yeah, that's the Microsoft uh, library. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty impressive. So, yeah, definitely allows developers to extend the platform beyond, you know, what you showed earlier on with the iViewer. Uh, and, and here you can create your own app leveraging iModel.js. Um, I think we have, um, we have a link to the actual resources uh, for, for developers to go to and learn more, right? Yes. That's correct. Go. That's iModel.js.org. Awesome. And that's something that, that is open source you were mentioning. Can you tell me a little bit more about iModel.js open source project? Is this something that Bentley.js contributes to? Are there other people involved? Bentley Systems is the biggest contributor. We developed uh, the code. We also make it open. We embrace openness so that not only us can, pr can develop digital twin solutions, but other digital twin developers and uh, integrators can also develop digital twin solutions. Nice. So here are some of the highlights of the iModel.js library. Yep. You can get a library from uh, GitHub download and build samples. An iTunes viewer ready for web embedding, change management, query and visualization of the engineering content. All these three uh, I have showed earlier in the video. But also iModel.js is a cloud-based service architecture. iModel.js enabled application can run on web, desktop and mobile devices. Last but not least, is the system system integration capability. We saw the safety based integration. We saw Azure Digital Twin integration to link to live IoT sensors. So here's a very quick uh, demonstration of the website. So we put the source code samples all uh, on GitHub. And here you can read about iModel.js, its openness and the digital digital twin philosophies. Nice. You can learn about different topics about how to use iModel.js to develop digital twin solutions. And also a few steps, easy steps to get started by creating your own application, your own project, and get download the source code and make change and get it going. So there's some samples in there that you can you can look into. So here is a place marker. Marker is used to represent the sensors we saw in the other video mm -hmm. and the safety based integration. So all this you can learn by going into GitHub following, following the link, download all sample code. You can clone and download. So Olivia, that's a quick introduction on iModel.js. Nice, nice. Kudos. That's that's really I like the um, the openness and, and the way you guys are approaching thing. Yes. Um, so you have more resources actually. I'm seeing right now uh, yeah. for uh, for developers and for more people uh, when they are interested into uh, the topics, right? Yes, correct. Awesome. Well, that's a very insightful presentation you just gave us, uh, Lou. 
Uh, I think people will be very excited. Uh, I have my own little link to add on top of that. It's going to send to the imodeljs.org. Uh, but if you want to go directly to it, aka.ms slash IoT show slash imodeljs. Lou, thanks a lot for joining the show today. I think it's uh, amazing to see how partners like Bentless Systems integrate on top of the Microsoft Azure IoT platforms to deliver such like advanced solutions. Uh, and pretty timely with the uh, recent announcements of Digital Twins uh, updates. Uh, so once again, thanks very much for joining the show today, Lou. Thank you very much for having me. And to you all, thanks for joining as well. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe for the show. Bye.